Hey, thanks for joining this episode. We are going to talk about how to repair and replace a Mahindra Emax 20 hydrostatic rear seal on my, uh, my farm tractor here. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Hey, welcome back to this episode. Um, I've had this Mahindra Emax 20 um, for about three years now. It's 2019, I bought it brand new, delivered uh, to my farm. And uh, you know, I am I like it. I don't love it, I don't hate it, but I like it. I've had a few issues with it and there's a few things I wish it changed, but the price was right. It's, uh, I, I do beat it up quite a little bit. Um, it's basically my mowing tractor, but it comes with the loader, which I'll include some video uh, with the loader on it. And, um, and then it's got the belly motor, belly mower that I have on it now installed. Um, so, but one of the issues that I've had for the last year, year and a half, and I'm hoping to resolve today is I've got a leak and I've had a leak for a while. Originally, I thought the leak was coming from the oil filter underneath. I um, tightened that up. I replaced the oil on uh, hydrostatic oil in this and then changed the filter and uh, still had the problems. Last year, last summer, I found that um, I was looking at maybe a you know, rear axle seal problem in the back on this. And I was actually up in there and the seals on both axles were starting to come out. Uh, which is hard for me to believe. So I just pushed them back in. I, I got some sealant, uh, some gasket sealant, and put that on there, and um, it, it resolved the issue um, the rest of the summer. But uh, late in the summer and early fall and going into winter, uh, my problem came back. So I'm going to have to replace the seal on this back right tire, and I'm hoping that. Uh, it goes as simple and smooth as uh, I, th I think it can be. So stay with me, we're gonna do this step by step. All right, let's talk about uh, equipment and tools that you're gonna need to do this job. First of all, here's the seal I got from the Mahindra dealer, about $18. We'll see what the one I take out looks like. Um, according to the, the shop that I got it from, there's a snap ring um, that's involved with this. I haven't seen a snap ring when I look at it. On any of the drawings or whatever but uh, so there may be a snap ring um, so if you don't have a snap ring pliers which I don't I'm hoping if there's a snap ring I've got a, a pointed some pointed pliers here needle nose pliers I'm hoping I can get that snap ring off or I'm gonna have to go get a snap ring pliers if you have a snap ring pliers that's the right tool for the job I just don't have one uh, we are going to be jacking this up so you're going to need some type of jack to do that and of course when we're jacking things up we want to make sure that we've got uh, good enough support and be safe here so I got some chalks to chalk the wheel uh, we'll put some bracing underneath it to be safe so it won't fall um, we are going to have to remove most of if not all of the trans hydrostatic oil fluid um, in this so it's about three and a half gallons I'm going to try not have to take uh, most of that out. Most of that sits in the pan in the rear axle. So uh, I've got about two gallons equivalent of uh, space here to drain uh, the oil into. I've got some uh, gasket, gasketing material here. Um, it's actually gasket maker, but uh, to seal up the gasket once I put it in there, um, or seal the seal up when I put it in there. And um, you got to be really careful when you sli slide this seal on there. It's got to be really clean and you want it to be lubricated. So I've got some lithium grease here when we get to, to, to that stage of it. The lugs on the wheel are three quarter inch standard and the uh, drain plug for the transmission oil is also three quarters. So we lucked out there. But uh, let's get into this. I think the first thing we're going to do here is I'll chop the wheels, make sure it's not going to roll around. I'm not going to jack it up at this stage, but just to be safe. And uh, let's remove 
You know, if not all of the oil, let's make sure that we've got uh, all the transmission fluid below the axle taken out. I'm going to try to take out about two gallons, only because I'm limited to how much space I've got here to put that fluid in. So stay with me. Step one, take, uh, remove the transmission fluid. Like I said, at least a couple gallons. I'm hoping that gets me below the axle level it should. Um, and it went uh, pretty good. I didn't drop, didn't drop the drain plug and uh, didn't make too much of a mess. I guess another material that's going to work really well in this is if you've got some oil dry that you can throw on because you're bound to spill some fluid and whatnot um, and have a good rag with you. But, uh, went pretty well. Next step is to loosen the lugs while the tractor's on the ground and then you'll see me put the jack and the stand underneath there for safety. We'll remove that wheel and see what we're getting into. The big reason I know I've got a seal problem is again other than the obvious uh, we've got fluid leaking on the floor here from somewhere underneath the tractor. But if you look on the inside of your hub here, if you've got oil leaking out from the inside of your uh, tire rim, then it's gotta be coming from somewhere and the only place it could come around your, your, your tire like that is, is, is from the seal on the rear axle. So uh, let's take a look at that. But if your, your wheel looks like that, then you've got a, got a seal problem you gotta deal with. Here's what this seal looks like. Um, got your, your axle here and your seal. You can see the previous job I did uh, from not taking the tire off and just uh, putting that gasket material on there. I'll have to remove that. But uh, that seal goes right in there. And again, there's supposed to be a snap ring. Um, but uh, that's, that's what we're trying to get to and that's what we're trying to work on. Until we go any further though, I will put a jack stand underneath this just from a safety standpoint and uh, we'll go to the next step. So again, I had to uh, recruit the neighbor here way over my head on this thing. If I, once I found out that the axle needed to be pulled out, I knew I needed help. So this is the new seal on there. Craig's put that on there already, but uh, this seal goes on, then a snap ring and then a bearing and then a snap ring to hold the bearing on. So to get the seal off, you got to pull the seal out and take the snap ring out, which is a two-person job. And then once that snap ring is out, you pull the whole axle out of the, out of the tractor. And then you got to remove the bearing and the snap ring and, and then reassemble it in, in opposite order. project again uh, here's here's my thoughts on this one uh, once I took that tire off and, and found out that uh, you know I just couldn't pull that seal off and put the other one on uh, over the axle without pulling the axle out I knew I was in trouble for me for me a much bigger project than uh, than I was comfortable with confident with but uh, thank God for my neighbor and uh, he came down, we just finished this. I'm gonna include a diagram. I'll include a diagram in this video right now. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, you know, let me know because uh, if you're in the same situation, I think this covers the Emax 20, 22, and 25 um, HST models. So if you have one of those models, my guess is your seal is gonna leak if it hasn't leaked already. And uh, this, hopefully this video helps with that. If not, you know, write some comments and send us an email or whatever it is. But uh, I'll put the diagram in there of uh, what you have to do. It probably is a two-person job to get that snap ring on and off. 
Um, certainly the right tool, you need a snap ring pliers and the right one. And uh, you know, I guess this, this ends this project, but uh, shout out to our sponsors, Pete and Shorey's in Main Street, Clarksville, Iowa. Uh, tell Mike and Amy hi from the two dumbasses. But uh, thanks for watching and be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.